Like all mothers, Mother Nature will tuck you safely into bed at night, only to come into your room two hours later in a scary mask and threaten you with a nail. Hi, I'm Greg Evigan from BJ and the Bear and My Two Dads, although I have done other stuff since then. Anyway, I'm here to answer the question, what happens when insects attack? This week, a bee. Well, it was my weekend with Tim, uh, and we went to the park, like we usually do. I was parched, so I made the mistake of opening up a can of fizzy lemon drink. Remember, this is actual camcorder footage. I suppose it was the smell of the drink which attracted the bee. Probably thought it was a flower or pollen or something. But as you can see there, I, I tried to hit the bee off the top of the tin, but that seemed to enrage it further. It tried to bite me. So uh, I tried to fight back for a bit, and then I realised I didn't want to endanger Tim, so I threw the can down, picked him up and we ran off. <laughs> we came back, of course, to pick up the tin about 20 seconds later, and the bee had gone. Yeah, I was worried that the bee might sting Timmy with its tail, and uh, it would have been very embarrassing taking him back to Margaret, all stung. Yes, that's exactly the kind of ammunition she's after. <laughs> Well, Peter and Timmy will be thinking twice before they drink lemon drink in the park again. However, parched they get. They have learned that it is man who comes up second best when insects attack. If you have any home video footage of people being attacked by insects, please send it in. Not a bee, though. We've done that. And, a man attack. and I can't remember what it was the first week. Not that insect. In We've got loads, but you might have an unusual one we haven't seen. I'm Greg Evigan. Goodbye. I made this.